First year engineering students, make sure you have these things before you start your degree. Number one, a good spacious yet compact bag that fits your needs. If you will be doing a lot of programming for your papers, you will most likely have a laptop. So you could either go for a separate laptop bag or an all-in-one bag. The bag I had was an all-in-one bag, so I sorted my books, my lunch, my laptop and my tablet in there. And this was the Iberkey Swift laptop bag. This bag is very durable. It has lasted me for my whole degree and is still going strong. Now I did make sure I took care of it, but it is also designed really well. It's very light, comfortable and can hold heavy books and laptops quite well. However, if you do need to store extra things, like a change of clothes for gym after class or sports equipment, then you would need a bigger bag. I would suggest getting a sport bag for this. Number 2. A tablet or an iPad. Something that will enable you to write on it digitally and it does not have to be expensive. It's also very useful if your university gives you free Microsoft 365 or online storage that you can store all the notes in. Now the benefits of digital note taking is that you would have to take less books in your bag and all your notes will be in one place rather than having different books for different subjects. And also it will be really easy to edit and change notes without a hassle. For example, if you're editing on one note, you can basically select whatever you want to select and move it around wherever you want to move it around. Simple as that. Now the downsides of this are that it's not the same as writing on paper and depending on the person you are, you may feel like you're learning less while writing digitally. And also your handwriting will be quite bad to start off with, so make sure you know what you're writing when you start taking digital notes. The second downside is you'll probably be staring at the screen the whole day, which is kind of inevitable because engineering students in 2022 have to stare at screens a lot. My recommendations for tablets would be the Samsung Galaxy Tab and the Microsoft Surface Pro tablets. And as for the Apple iPad, I would suggest the 8th gen one. Now bear in mind it does not have to be expensive, even the cheaper version will do the job. At the end of the day, we're students here and we definitely need to save money, so don't splurge on these tech devices. But hey, if you have the money then go for it. I'm not your dad. Now to add to all of that jazz, you may also require a laptop. Bear in mind not all engineering majors require a laptop. A tablet or an iPad will be best if the papers you're doing are heavily theory based or exercise based. And a laptop will be best if it's more essay and programming based. Software and mechatronic students will be using laptops quite a lot because they have to do a lot of programming. But as for other majors, I would advise to have a look at the paper descriptions and either go for a laptop or tablet and iPad depending on those descriptions. For my mechatronics degree, I went for a tablet and when I needed to programming assignments, I used the university computers or the PC that I built at home. As for laptop recommendations, this would require a whole new video with different budgets and depending on the usage. So if you do want a video on that, then comment in the comments below and i'll be happy to make a video on that depending on the demand number three a good pencil case to store all pens pencils rulers maybe a protractor but you don't really need a protractor unless you're in engineering design or drawing number four a good trusty calculator which i assume everyone will have from their high school years if not then get one asap my friend you're gonna need it oh and make sure it's a scientific calculator number five every student needs a good pair of headphones to study with and it helps with focusing when you're studying. Now I'm not saying you must listen to music while studying, I think it's better to study in silence to imitate exam conditions, but if you just want to have a chill session, then lo-fi beats with headphones on is where it is at. The headphones I use are the Skullcandy H3 wireless, and if I'm wanting earbuds, then I use the Skullcandy Dime Truly Wireless earbuds. And if my ears get sore, I just alternate between the two. Oh, and here's a tip for you. Check if your university library has electronic versions of textbooks. University textbooks are worth a fortune. My university had e-versions of most textbooks, so I did not have to purchase physical versions of them every semester. And that basically saved me like $500 every semester. So yeah, do check your university library website, otherwise you might just end up being broke. I mean, more broke. If you are looking to build your own PC, then check out the playlist on the right. Otherwise, check out the playlist on the left for other tech.